I'm Chris Duke and today on Motors we're doing an extreme garage makeover. Hey, welcome to Motors. For the past three seasons of this show, our garage studio has undergone quite a few changes. Most people that watch this show don't even think that we film in a standard two-car garage. Now, if you check out the first episode from a couple of years ago, you'll see that it is a very basic two-car garage. I had boxes everywhere. I had bikes hanging from the ceiling over there. I had stuff hanging off the wall. And I had some very basic hand tools. Well, with the help from the Sears Blue Tool crew, we're getting an extreme garage makeover. We're going to show you how to install some of the awesome products from Gladiator. And we're going to check out some of the great new tools from the Sears Blue Tool crew. Well, let's gut this thing and give it a makeover. Hi, I'm Nate with Sears Tools. Let me tell you about the Blue Tool crew. We know tools. With over 400 national brands and over 30,000 products, we can help you find the tools you need. Shop with us at your local store, online at sears.com tools, or with the latest Sears Tools catalog. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. And if you have any questions, give us a call at 877-4BLUE-CREW. We went ahead and assembled two of Gladiator's storage products so you could see what they look like. We've got a modular gearbox down here that has a single slide out shelf and lockable diamond plate doors. The only thing you need to do to assemble this is to put the wheels on the bottom and these bumpers on the side. The jumbo gearbox takes a little bit more effort just because it's so huge. It's got three adjustable shelves that support up to 50 pounds each and lockable diamond plate doors and they're designed to be hung on the wall using Gladiator's gear track system or their gear wall system. They give you all the hardware that you need, including an Allen wrench. So the only tool that you need is a Phillips screwdriver. Let's get started on this one. The included assembly manual is very easy to understand, and to make it even easier, they've labeled many of the parts like this so you know which direction they go. Now that the top and the bottom are on, we can get to the back, which is really easy. You've got these panels that are clearly labeled A, B, C, D, and E, and they just interlock along the back. And once you've got these all lined up, and you just screw them down with the provided Phillips screws. Since we're not going to be hanging our cabinets on the wall, we're going to install the four leveling legs on the bottom. Stand the cabinet up and square it up, and then you can tighten the bolts and then put in the shelves. The metal shelves have these tabs that slide into slots right here on the side of the cabinet. Sometimes they could be a little bit tight though, so grab a flat blade screwdriver and bend them out a little bit so you can get them in there. Ooh, that's loud.
Now that we're done putting the finishing touches on our tall gearbox, we can finally get to the workbench and the wall behind it. Now if you're tired of those antiquated pegboards, you should definitely check out Gladiator's gear track system. They've got a variety of accessories to hold all your stuff, from these metal and mesh baskets, hooks to hold screwdrivers all the way up to a bicycle, these nifty storage bins, a cleanup caddy, and a bottle opener. Now the gear tracks not only look great, but they also support a ton of weight, so you can hang anything on them from these tall gear boxes to the wall gear boxes that we're going to install in a little bit. First, let's get all this stuff out of the way and get to our gear track. Now above our workbench, we're going to be hanging three 30-inch wall gear boxes. We're going to use the gear track to hang them. Now we went ahead and figured out where our studs are and pre-measured everything. And while not required, we went ahead and pre-drilled some holes for our screws. Now to do this, you might need some help. It'll be a lot easier, so grab a buddy. Buddy, get over here. We used our tape measure to make some marks from the ceiling and then a four-foot level to make our lines nice and straight. Now we use Gladiator's gear track system for above our workbench, but you can also use their gear wall system as well. With our gear tracks installed, it's time to hang all of our accessories in our cabinets. Now, Gladiator makes a wide range of cabinets, all the way from 24 inches wide up to 30. This is one of the 30s that we're going to be installing three of up here. And one of the really cool things about all the Gladiator products that I wanted to point out is their packaging. It's out of control. Everything is really well packaged, wrapped up. Check this out. We've got cardboard pieces on the side with this nice styrofoam in there. And of course the product is well wrapped. And check this out on the inside. We've got these styrofoam stilts holding up these two by fours, real wood. It's not gonna get busted in shipment. Now these cabinets are great. They come pre-assembled with the key right there in the door. All the shelves are already installed. And to hang them, you can bolt them directly to the wall or you can hang them on the gear track just bolt these to the back and we'll show you how well they slide right in. Now you want to tighten this top bracket all the way, but the bottom one you want to leave loose. You need that slack for when you put it up on the track. Now grab a buddy and lift it up and put it on. All right, is that in? Now the cool thing about these gear boxes and the gear track system is you can move them around all you want, position them into place, and then when you're all done, you can tighten down that bottom bracket and secure it a little bit better. Well, we're done installing our gear track and our cabinets. Now, for larger areas, you might want to check out their gear wall system. Now, let's move in our workbench and put up all of our accessories. Right about there, it looks good. And finally, my favorite Gladiator accessory, the bottle opener. Paired with one of the storage bins. Ah. There we 
go. That looks nice. The Gladiator Modular Maple Workbench comes in two sizes, an 8-foot as well as a 6-foot that you see right here. Now this table along with the modular gearboxes creates a system that allows you to move your gear wherever you need it and you get some additional workspace area. Plus, to be able to move all this stuff out of the way and reclaim that space just takes a couple of minutes. Well, now that we're done upgrading our garage with all the awesome storage products from Gladiator Garage Works, let's check out some of the tools, starting with our Craftsman Bench Grinder. Check out the Motors TV website to watch all of your favorite episodes and more, and talk with other viewers online in our popular forums area. Catch the latest news and information surrounding the show, as well as the entire automotive industry. Take Motors with you on the road with our free app available for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and win free parts by entering in our monthly giveaway. It's all right here at www.motors.tv. Parts is brought to you by the Sears Blue Tool Crew. We're here today in the Motors studio and we're working with this huge 255 piece Craftsman Mechanics tool set. Now, as you know, you should never start a job without a complete set of tools because you know that one that you're missing is the one that you're going to need to finish the job. Now, you can save a whole lot of time and money by not having to go back to the store every time you need to get that one missing socket or wrench. This set has just about every single metric and standard socket and wrench that you're ever going to need. Now, since we primarily use hand tools on our show, this set allows us to finish the job without missing a tool. The Craftsman 255-piece mechanics tool set is largely made up of metric and standard 6-point and 12-point sockets. You also get a large number of deep sockets and three ratchets for the included half-inch, three-eighths, and quarter-inch drive sockets. There's also a full set of metric and standard combination wrenches, hex keys, nut driver bits, screwdriver bits, and even some Torx bit sockets. And that's an investment in tools that'll last you a lifetime, especially with that incredible Craftsman warranty. You can pick yourself up a set today from the Sears Blue Tool Crew. When towing a trailer, there's a few common problems that we all face. Now first, there's backing up and being perfectly in line with that trailer tongue without having to get in and out of your rig several times. Next, there's getting the correct trailer ride height and having the right ball size for different trailers. And finally, having a trailer hitch that looks just as good as the rig that's pulling it. Now, thankfully, there's a company called Inventive Products that realized the frustrations of towing and have put a stop to all that nonsense and made it drop dead simple. Their new hitch design is called XD Hitch, which stands for Expandable Design. 
Now what's great about this design is that once you have the basic setup, you can continue to add new accessories to your hitch, just like you do to your very own vehicle. For example, you can start with a ready-to-go kit and then add accessories such as a flame side pin or a step attachment. There's actually over 1,000 different combinations you can make with the XD hitch. So what's so inventive about their solution when it comes to hooking it up to your trailer? Well, let me show you this cool attachment right here called the swivel lock hitch. It swivels a full 180 degrees from side to side and in and out covering a 10 inch arc giving you a large margin of error so all you have to do is get your trailer close to the ball mount, swivel it into place and drop it down. Then hop back in your vehicle and slowly pull away so it snaps into place. Now how cool is that? The XD side pin not only allows you to adjust the vertical height of the hitch but can also be customized with many different designs such as flames, animals, sports and many more. The hitch itself comes in black or chrome and is available in three different raised and lowered lengths of 3, 6, or 10 inches and several different ball sizes. The XD side pins are super strong too, so you can trust it with your prized possessions in tow. They're manufactured from a T1 steel and are 38% stronger than two round pins. The hitch is V5 rated and capable of towing up to 10,000 pounds. They're also made right here in the USA, so if you're tired of hitch headaches, and you definitely need to get yourself hooked up with Inventive Products XD Hitch. American Powertrain is primarily known for building transmission systems featuring Tremec 5 and 6 speeds as well as custom built over drive automatics. But the real magic is in their attention to detail and their wide array of innovative powertrain parts and custom modified gearboxes just like this classic Corvette Prep TK05 speed featuring their ProShift 3 shifter and bias adjustable white lightning shift tower for a no cut fit, a 1955-82 Corvettes or their lightweight billet aluminum X-Factor cross members for every GM car and transmission combination you can imagine featuring a 3.5 inch exhaust clearance and pure bolt-on application. Now check this out, American Powertrain has reinvented the clutch disc with their patent pending triple grip clutch. This trick piece features a combination of monster holding power and smoother uptake than your average organic clutch by engaging this smooth Kevlar clutch material at just a split second before the aggressive centered iron outer ring. This triple grip disc may be the hottest thing to have on the clutches since dual friction hit the market 20 years ago. They also sent over one of their unique Hydromax hydraulic systems, which allows you to swap from mechanical linkage to a hydraulic clutch on almost any GM, Ford, or Mopar project. Now, whether it's a complete transmission kit or powertrain components to help finish your project, American Powertrain has what you need to hit the highway or the raceway. Now, for more information, you can visit their website at AmericanPowertrain.com or visit our website, go to the parts section, and you'll find a link right there, too. Letters, brought to you by E3 Spark Plugs, born to burn. Hey guys, welcome to Letters. Now, I want to remind you that if you like the show, go to facebook.com slash motors TV, or if you want to follow us, go to twitter.com slash motors. Now, something really cool is going on here. E3 Spark Plugs is hooking you guys up with free spark plugs for your ride. All you got to do is go to the Motors TV homepage and click on the letters button and send in your letter. If we select it for the show, well then E3 will send you a free set of spark plugs for your ride. Let's get on to our first letter. Now Roger writes, hey Chris, first of all I want to start by saying I love your show. I'm a huge fan. I really like all your videos, but have you ever thought of maybe using older cars or maybe a more common car like a Honda Civic in its mid-90s? I would love to see that. Thanks, your fan, Roger. Well, Roger, we actually used a Honda Civic in Season 3 for an E3 Spark Plugs episode, so you might want to check that out. But as we move forward, we'll be sure to include more imports, such as Toyotas and Hondas, on the show. We've already got some plans, so stay tuned. Now, Speedy, a.k.a. Sergeant Payne, writes, I have a new 2010 Mazda 3. I like the car side, but it doesn't have the power I'd like it to have. I need more power. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do anything to terminate my warranty at this time. What could I do for more power, yet keep my warranty? Well, Speedy, you can add an air intake kit, you can add a cat-back exhaust, but I'm afraid until your warranty expires, you're not going to be able to do anything to give you that noticeable difference that you're looking for. Now, Rico Haney writes, Hey Chris, I've got a 2010 Mustang GT, and I'm looking to change out my stock exhaust. 
I'm not really looking to get real loud, just want something that's a little bit deeper, but still retain that classic V8 sound. Do you have any suggestions? Well, Rico, we've had good luck with Magnaflow. It's one of those exhausts that sounds real quiet when you want it to be, but loud when you don't. Now, Marvin Johnson writes and says, hey, Chris, great show. I own a 2002 F-150 Harley-Davidson, which is ready for its first tune-up since I've had it. It has 65,000 miles on it. I read on some blog that after you do a tune-up, you must have your truck dyno tuned. Is this true? Well, Marvin, unless you've changed something major inside your engine or to the computer itself, you don't have to do a dyno. Now, Michael writes, hey, Chris, I'm a do-it-yourself type person and love working on cars just like you. Your show has taught me a lot on how to do things on my own. I always wanted to have my own shop, maybe start with oil changes, tire rotations, spark plug changes, and later move on to bigger things. At first, I didn't know changing an air intake and an exhaust was that easy. My question to you is, what would you recommend me to do or do you have any advice? Well, Michael, you can check out an automotive tech school like UTI or YO Tech or a university. Michigan has a great automotive program. Or you can just check with your local colleges to see what they might be offering. And finally, Luis Rodriguez writes, I changed my old spark plugs to E3 spark plugs and it's running so much better. Thank you for the recommendation, Chris. But I recently had to give that car back to my parents and I got my own car and all it's missing is a set of E3 spark plugs. Can you help me out? Well, Lewis, I sure can because if we use your letter on the show, E3 is going to hook you up with a free set of E3 spark plugs for your ride. These things are born to burn with their diamond fire technology. Now, to learn more about E3's technology or to see if they're available for your ride, just go to e3sparkplugs.com. Well, that does it for our Extreme Garage Makeover, all made possible by our friends at the Sears Blue Tool crew. Now, for more information on all the tools and the storage solutions that we featured on today's episode, just head on over to our website, or you can even go to your local Sears store to see everything up close and personal. We'll catch you next week on Motors. Hey, Clay, what do you think you new home, buddy? The metal shelves have these slots, slots, these tabs. Slots are over there. Stop laughing. Sometimes they could be a little bit tight. So grab, so grab. Get down on my knees and love you. Do, 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 do. There you go. Big guy in a little shirt. <laughs>